We're getting ready to fire up that grill this weekend. You might end up paying a little more than usual. Beef prices at the store have been climbing for the past couple years. But that doesn't mean the farmer who's raising the cow is getting rich. KCTV 5's Nathan Vickers shows us why. Woo! Marty Richardson's cows at Jowler Creek Cattle Company seem well fed and content to roam on a cool spring day. Lots of grass and uh, pretty happy. The Pot County farmer takes pride in his beef, especially ahead of Memorial Day barbecues. Hopefully it's the best steak you ever ate. Richardson works in a difficult industry right now. Even though beef is expensive in the store, the price that farmers receive for their cattle is actually much lower than usual, largely because of high margins charged by meatpacking companies. There's two things wrong with this market. The producer's losing money, and a lot of people don't think of this part, but the consumer out here is paying a, as high a price as they were paid during that pandemic when there was no workers, no cattle being slaughtered. But Richardson and his family are part of a growing movement in the cattle industry that has found a different way to sell. We just saw there's maybe a little niche market in the area we live in. We wanted to add some value to the cattle that we're selling. For the past couple of years, Jowler Creek has been marketing their beef directly to consumers who want to buy their meat locally. I think they like just knowing where their meat's coming from and just that relationship that they can have. Warren Richardson helps market the products. They deliver to several of the surrounding counties. Price point wise, we're pretty comparable to that of the grocery store on steaks, maybe slightly higher. That allows them to bypass the meat packers and make a little more by having it processed independently. It's a good, safe, product and we take pride in raising our cattle, uh, keeping them healthy, handling them right. We found a unique place in the agricultural world and hope it shows when the meat hits the grill. Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.